So how, uh, going yeah. right from the very beginning, you learned about the business of music because uh, you couldn't Well, we were that. forced, yeah, we were, <laughs> yes, we were forced in the beginning. I wish I could say we were geniuses and say <laughs> we're going to start our own company. You know, I, that's not what happened. You know, in the beginning, we went to every single label and every single label shut their door on us. Um, the, the genius thing that we did was we didn't give up. We didn't say because these guys, you know, we use that what do they know approach. You know, we we didn't give up at that point, and uh, it was the best thing for us. The best thing for us. The best thing for us. The best thing. Then also mix in like the culturally relevant curated content that speaks to what your brand is. Okay, that 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 and then, and then, and and then, so that's how you like you can future you now you're future casting, and you're you're doing subliminal marketing for the future products, while you're marketing. You're marketing the brand and connecting people with with what the messaging is. What's that? I did. I, f I feel like this is the call that I've been waiting for because you know, like I don't know if I don't know like I don't know if you feel this way or if you ha ever had this feeling I felt this feeling four years ago and it's when it feels like the tectonic plates of life are getting ready to shift what's up and welcome back I'm actually very excited to talk to you guys today it's been a little minute in the interim between the last video I dropped something um, that I really want to follow up on because I've had some conversations around it and I think it's interesting the response that I've gotten based on the new stuff and some new things that I'm that I'm going to be sharing with you pretty soon and it's it's this idea of formula 409 and before I get to explaining it um, I kind of want to follow up because you know a couple of days ago I posted uh, a short documentary video recap of one of my first businesses and one of the businesses that kind of laid the foundation and laid the groundwork for a lot of what I'm doing today and because of, and, and in all of that uh, one of the things that I've and one of the questions that I've gotten and some of the feedback from it is why am I so involved in so many different things and it goes to this this thing that I learned I can't even remember when I learned it Formula 409, if you're not familiar with it, Formula 409 is a cleaning product. And I can't remember where I learned this, this was years ago. The story of Formula 409 is that it was two co-founders. Um, I don't know what their names are. I'll, I'll link something in the description below. These two, these two founders were looking for a sustainable cleaning product that uh, would clean, but it was also good for the environment. And in coming up with this, this product they had 408 failed attempts they had 408 formulas that just didn't work the way that it was supposed to and the 409th one did imagine if they had stopped at 100 or stopped at 200 or even three we, we wouldn't have this this interrupter of the market and so they continued and they persevered through and that's how we got Formula 409, which is one of the bigger cleaning products for it to be able to be on the market. And I take that same approach to the work that I do. Eventually, I believe something is going to work. My driver, the thing that drives me to continue to do this work and continue to do the things that I do is just that, is that you know eventually one of these things is gonna work. I have gotten so far removed from the feelings of of the negative feelings of failure. I always look at everything that I do as a lesson. Um, and that's kind of the reason why I wanted to drop the video about culture because there were so many lessons in the things that I learned. And as I started the video with a phone call um, that I had recently, I've gotten into the habit of recording some of my phone calls, some of the calls where I'm either giving coaching or giving counseling or I'm receiving coaching or counseling. And it's been super interesting because I'm documenting my process. And that's a part of what these vlogs are also is the part of me documenting my process. Uh, one of the things that came up when I was selling culture was one of the guys that that was looking to buy it 
wanted me to have a step-by-step -step manual of how I did what I did and how I was able to start my store the way that I started it, get the products that I got. And I never, I, I, it didn't click until afterwards that Jay-Z said it on uh, Lost Ones. Really saying they made hove that made hove say, okay, so make another hove. And really the only way you can do that is by knowing what you did, knowing your formula. And so now I'm, I'm getting into that process and so it's interesting because I'm I'm a big Rockefeller, Kanye West fan. A line from one of Kanye's earlier songs, uh, Champion, is when it feels like living's harder than dying, for me, giving up's way harder than trying. Uh, and that's kind of the approach that I take to the work that I do, in that there's no real rhyme or reason as to why I'm gonna continue to push through other than the fact that it's easier for me to try and fail than it is to just sit on an idea and not try at all. So my advice to you, my closing point in all of this is find your formula 409, find the thing that you want to achieve and don't stop until you do it because it's going to happen. Peace.